Hey guys, so I'm here like to talk. I'm in my bathroom right now, so <laughs> but yeah, so I'm here to talk about like my experience with the casting call for um the real world in Miami and like it was so annoying, it was so stressful, it was like so unorganized. So like how it started was that like it took me like a four and a half hour drive to get there and so as we're driving there we get down to like my downtown south miami and it's like we i left my house around like five five o'clock so because you know i wanted to be ahead of the traffic and stuff so i'm getting down to south i guess to, like i said south miami and traffic starts hitting and i'm like fuck you know i gotta like get there on time and you know and plus i knew that it was gonna be a, really, a dumb long ass line and so i was like nah i'm gonna be in front of everybody but i knew there was gonna be people there so anyways Fast forward, we're driving and we end up getting out the car because we had to find a parking spot and you know, we get there, there are no parking spots. So we had to find like this like little area, like, you know, like a parking spot. I don't know. So we found some spot that the lady charges like $7, but you know, for like two, I think two or three hours. But we was like, nah, we're not sure how we're gonna, how, much, how long we're gonna be there. And so we ended up paying the lady um, $10. So anyway, so we sit there and, you know, me and my boyfriend, we walk and we're like, damn, like, we're looking at our GPS and we're like, like what if I'm going to find this shit is at? And, you know, we don't know where is that. So anyway, so we end up walking down the block and we end up finding, like, it's like a plaza. And I wish I had, I wish I would have recorded it, but it was like a plaza where... It, you know, it was like on the right side of the thing where it was like a bar, food, you know, like little restaurants and like shopping center. And then it was like um, a Capital One bank. But then when you look on your left, like if it was walking forward, you look to your left, there was the same, like a big Christmas tree. And then like behind it, I guess it was like doing construction in the street. So I had to, me and my boyfriend had to walk in the maze. We walked in like two circles to find a final place. So we ended up getting there and we see dumb packed of people. And I'm looking at my boyfriend, I'm like, yo, we're about to go home because, you know, we're not about to stand there. So anyways, so we were just like, all right, fuck it, whatever. We stand there, we see, like, this is lady, she's sitting on a table, you know, she had a stack full of, like, papers, I mean, of applications. So we end up going there, and she's like, um, oh, hi, you're applying? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, already I have to fill out an application, but I know I have to come get another one. And she was like, yeah, so here, you know your application and I'm like 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 here we go fucking again so I'm like I'm on I'm seeing the application and it's like 12 questions and it's like three it's like a three paper application or whatever and like you know they actually like probably they pick and choose like on the application of like what answers that they, they I mean what questions they really want you to have you know the answer or whatever so I'm like fuck I'm like I gotta transfer my information from one application to the other and um, I'm like, I'm looking at one of those questions, and I'm just like, biggest secret. And I'm looking at the paper, and I'm looking at my boyfriend, and I said, big secret. Um, so I'm like, I don't even know what the fuck to say, because I'm not trying to tell those secrets. So he's like, just put anything, and I'm just like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just oh well, fuck it, I'm just gonna put anything, whatever down. And so I'm, I'm doing it and then I'm looking to my left and I'm looking to my right and I'm seeing everybody, they run on paper, the people drinking, it was so unorganized. So I look to my right and there's like this big group of people, but it looked like a line, but they had like cones standing there. And then so it was like, there was a bunch of people there and one, and like in a whole group there. And then there was like the bar thing that was like right here where the casting director was. There was like one casting director standing there, but she was like behind like this bar, this bar you know like the bar table or whatever you want to call it so i'm like fuck it i'm gonna get in line and i'm looking at i'm like everybody in their mother's dead this is one guy that he brought his damn dog and i'm like like damn like you, you about to be in the house with <laughs> we're about to pay full house in a second because everybody's bringing their the kids and i'm like yo people gonna come in with their fucking sob stories to try to get the kids in the show next they're gonna be real world's kids so we end up going, so we end, I'm standing in the line, and my boyfriend's like, oh, he's going to get a beer, he's going to stay in line, and I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm going to stay in line, because no one's going to skip me, and I'm like, like, what's up? So, 
I stand in line and I'm like, and I'm like looking at my phone and I'm like seeing people. They start staring at me and I'm just like, like what? So, um, I'm like, so I had tapped the girl's girl shoulder and I was like, oh hey, you know, is this the line that we have to stand for the casting director? And she was like, yeah. And I'm like, all right, because you could tell she didn't really want to say anything because I don't know these people inside Miami. I don't know they seem mad fucking stuck up. So. Um, anyways, so the casting director and she's like, oh, you know, I'm gonna I need like 12, 11, 12, 13 people and I was like, okay, so she's like, okay you, 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 you and then she's like, oh, anybody else? So you see my little ass, I have the paper and I'm like I'm like, me? So she's like, alright, cool so we go there, so we, like I said so we, I could, you know, we proceed to like the bar the little bar thing that I was telling you about and we end up standing there and she's like I said, she have, she said, oh, you know I don't, she's like, we don't need your pictures you know, we don't, like she said, we don't need your, your copy of your ID. We don't need your pictures. You know, we just want the application that you did, that you printed out, and that. She said, but even if you don't have that, you know, as long, did you do the application? So this one girl, she was like, oh, wait, I don't have, a, I didn't print out anything. She said, but did you fill out an application here? And she was like, no. She said, okay, so you got to go over there and fill out a paper. And the girl was like, what? Oh, mm. She walks off anyways. So, like I said, it was like three girls, like three, you know, three black girls, and they, they was looking like they just came from a fucking, a trapped outside party, and, you know, and it was just, you know, this, this Italian guy, you know, like this gay guy, whatever, and then it's me, and then there was this, like, girl that was next to me, and then this girl that she told me she was, like, a suicide advocate, and then to the right of me, it was, like, this guy that brought his dog, and his dog was sniffing my goddamn leg, and I was looking at him, like, um, you know, this, you know, this sniffing my, my foot, I mean, so, anyways, so she's so she, the lady. She's like the casting director. She's like, oh, um, you know, hi everybody. You know, I want you guys. I'm actually three guys, three questions, and we're gonna state. You know, you guys are gonna state your, your name, your sexual orientation, your relationship status if you have kids, and one favorite. You know, one fun fact thing about you. And I'm just like, what? So, um, yeah, so I'm just like, fuck, like, well, uh, so I get caught in a moment. I'm like, damn, what fun fact about me? Shit, fuck, 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 fuck. So anyway, so she goes from, like, left to, well, she goes from her right to her left to, you know, my left. And she started asking very questions. People were talking about they was in a, you know, polygamous relationship. And they got a girlfriend and a boyfriend. And like I said, this one girl, she was talking about, she's like, oh, I'm a vegan. And, and, you know, I'm a naturalist and all that stuff. And then I see this one. He's like, he's only 20 years old. And then she's like, oh, honey. And she was like, you can't, you can't be in this season, honey. She was like, when do you turn 21? And he's like, May. So I look at him like. to get your scooby-doo looking ass back home and she's like oh come back next season so she's asking everybody that they're you know she's continuing she gets to me i was just like my heart was beating i'm like fuck like i don't know what to say like i don't know what to do and i'm like so i said anything honestly i was just like fuck it it is what it is i'm just gonna do what i do but like like my experience there was like fucking suckish i only i got that's i spent five hours after five hour drive to get there it's only been there for an hour. I said, I'll take my black ass home. I'm hungry. I'm, I'm going to go home and eat. Shit, I was starving. So anyways, I was just like, listen, this shit was horrible. And I'm just like, how you expect people to get their personalities out when I couldn't even, I couldn't even tell mine. They should have did it more proper, more organized. They should have had at least do two people at, at a time so they can pick and choose who they need to get and who they want and they should have just did it like that and then she was like oh if we you know if we like you you know we're gonna skype you for an interview and then you know if you don't see a call from an unknown number you know pick it up you know if you don't get a call by february then you know just know you didn't get on the season and then she was like oh at the end she was like Oh, um, if I, I want to get to know everybody's faces, you know, match it to the name. So I, when I call your name on this paper, you know, I'm going to flip it over. You know, and she was like, you know, I'm going to call your name and you want, I want you guys to leave your premises so that I will know who came and, you know, who checked in and who got interviewed and go home. So I'm looking at the paper and I see she's like circling, like she wrote something down and she starts circling. And I'm just like, hmm, I'm like this, like, like. 
Like, I'm, I'm, I'm never here playing Inspector Gadget. I'm just like, mm, let me, let me, you know, learn out the, you know, Da Vinci this shit. Let me find out what she's, what the fuck that means. And so she's like, so I'm like the third person to get like the, the what, first to last person to get called. So she looked at me and she's like, she goes, Tara. And she looked right at me and she was like, oh, you know, like, thank you for coming. And she just goes like, fix my paper. And then I was like, thank you. So I walked off and like, I don't know, like I walked away and I, and I think she called my name for something because my application that I had printed out, I didn't staple it. So I don't know, but I don't know, like my experience there was suckish. You know, I wouldn't recommend anybody going there. I mean, if you want, you could take the shot going there, but I don't know, like it was so fucking stupid and they need to be more organized and they need to be, they need to follow up with how the fuck, you know, their procedures, because how the fuck do you expect people to, you know, get to where they need to get if you guys got in a fucking hidden place and it was closed in and then it was like so many people and they should have did by their appointments. And when they tell you, oh, arrive at this time, you better come before that. Come two to three hours before that because your ass will be waiting online. And so, yeah, like that was my experience. And I don't know, like, I don't know how it was in any other states, but the one in Miami sucked ass. So, yeah, guys, that's my experience. Um, if you guys like this video, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, and, you know, and tell me your guys' experiences. Me. So, thank you.